morning good afternoon good evening so to whom ever been watching a different uh, time period i literally welcome you all to this another video session so in this video session we'll be discussing about 10 challenging interview questions that is basically been uh, related been asked for microsoft defender for endpoint okay so please uh, make sure that you will definitely watch the video till the end and get the latest information regarding all the cyber affairs as well as the questions which are repeatedly been asked or challenging interview questions that is basically been asked for applying for a cyber security analyst okay so let us proceed further and get a understanding regarding what actually the questions have been asked here so so here are the 10 challenging questions okay basically related to microsoft defender for endpoints and along with their answers okay uh, so uh, beginning with the first number question that is asked is that how does microsoft defender for endpoint leverage machine learning and artificial intelligence for threat detection okay as we all know that we are being uh, asked with similar question whenever it comes for the azure sentinel so it actually remediate and protects the uh again say latest threat right in the similar way so microsoft defender also does the same thing okay so microsoft defender for endpoint basically uses the advanced machine learning algorithm and ai artificial intelligence to analyze the large set of data okay it actually analyzes the large set of data identify the anomalous pattern or pattern that basically detects any malicious uh indicative behaviors okay and uh, and it, it starts enhancing and boosting later the latest threat okay and its capability of uh, detecting um, the latest ransomware attacks or different kinds of stimulative attacks that is being placed uh, or that is been enabled okay to the platform and to evolve and adapt for imaging uh, real time threats okay so this is how actually the ml and ai helps in uh, detecting the uh, detecting or leveraging the threat detection in microsoft defender for endpoint coming to the second number uh, question that is explain the integration capabilities again i repeat explain the integration capabilities of microsoft defender for endpoint with the other microsoft 365 security services so here uh, there is a comparison between microsoft defender for endpoint and defender 365 security services so when it comes with microsoft defender for endpoint which basically uh, have a seamless uh, security services with other uh, microsoft 365 uh, security okay such as we can say microsoft defender for identity and microsoft cloud app security so these integration provides a holistic view of organization security posture that starts allowing for better correlation of security events and also for more uh, uh, we can say effective incident response okay so that's how actually uh, we can say that the integration capabilities of microsoft defender for endpoint and uh, with other 365 security services so the coming to third number question that has been basically been asked is that how does microsoft defender for endpoint protect against fileless malware attacks so fileless malware attacks so how does microsoft defender for endpoint protect against fileless malware attacks so here what actually it does is that microsoft defender for endpoint basically employs behavior based detection again i repeat behavior based detection and heuristic analysis that to identify and block fileless malware attacks and it also starts uh, it it monitor the system behavior and looks for any suspicious activity uh, such as uh, powershell commands or we can say any registry uh, modifications or we can even say to detect any uh, detect and mitigate uh, threats that 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 uh, may not involve uh, traditional malicious files okay so this is how actually uh, the defender for endpoint uh, starts protecting against the uh, fileless uh, malware attacks again i repeat microsoft defender for endpoints basically employs behavior based detection and a holistic analysis to identify and block fileless malware attacks so it monitors system behavior and looks for suspicious activity such as powershell commands or any registry modifications okay to detect and mitigate threats that may not evolve traditional malicious file okay coming to the fourth number question that is basically been asked is that how 
uh, can you can you explain how defender okay microsoft defender for endpoint uh, handles endpoint detection and response or we can say e dr again i repeat can you explain how defender for endpoint or microsoft defender for endpoint handles endpoint detection and response or edr endpoint detection and response how it handles so here is the question is that here is the answer it says about microsoft defender for endpoint provides robust edr capabilities again i repeat microsoft defender for endpoints basically starts providing the robust edr capabilities by continuously monitoring endpoint activities then after collecting relevant uh, telemetry data and it also offers uh, and and, and of also offering detailed insights into security incidents okay it it, it allows the security teams to uh, investigate and also uh, to respond okay and to respond to and 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 to incident and to incidents effectively okay so that basically includes the capabilities to isolate and uh, compromise devices to remediate threats okay so that 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 uh, what what role does the threat and vulnerability management uh, plays a place in microsoft defender for endpoint and how does uh, it provides and enhance the security postures so here the fifth number question basically ask about threat vulnerability right so here the threat vulnerability and management at microsoft defender for endpoints basically starts helping the organizations for proactive identity and uh, mitigating the security risk by assigning the vulnerability on endpoints okay so it it basically provides insights into security postures prioritizing the vulnerabilities and uh, recommends remediate actions and it also contributing to a uh, more resilient security infrastructures so sixth number question how does microsoft defender for endpoint uh, protect against a zero day exploit and uh, what mechanism are uh, in place for rapid response so microsoft defender for endpoint uh, basically uses a combination of uh, signature based detection okay again i repeat microsoft defender for endpoint uh, uses a combination of uh, signature based detection okay so holistic behavior analysis and the cloud based uh, threat detection or intelligence model to defend against any zero day exploit okay the platform basically leverages the real time updates and automated uh, response mechanism to quickly update and adapt to emerging threats and provides rapid protection so that is how actually it uh, it works on zero day exploits again i repeat it is a very 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 crucial and important question folks so when it comes for zero day exploit when the attacker when, when the when the when the actor uh, exploit the newly conducted or newly launched website without any kind of security posture it becomes a uh, serious concern right and how actually it protects and how actually it mitigates the zero exploit is the very 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 uh, conceptual question that has been asked so you need to answer accordingly uh, according to the question which has been asked by the by the interviewer okay so microsoft defender for endpoint which is a combination of signature based detection okay holistic behavior analysis and cloud based threat intelligence to defend against zero day exploit okay signature based behavior based cloud based so uh, holistic and okay so these three uh, helps in detecting the zero day exploit okay so the platform basically leverages uh, real time updates and automated response mechanism okay to quickly update to emerging threats and uh, provide rapid protection and uh, coming to the seventh number question that is basically been asked is that can you explain the role of uh, apt okay it is a repeatedly asked question advanced threat protection so what explain the role okay explain the role of advanced threat protection in microsoft defender for endpoint and its significance in comprehensive security strategies so so when we discuss about apt right so advanced threat protection in microsoft defender for endpoint add an extra layer of security okay just uh, for example if i say in winter we provide ourselves uh, hot hotness right to protect against the winter to protect against the cold just the uh, just for that we, we 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 wear clothes along with our clothes we wear our sweatshirt okay i can say sweaters so in the similar fashion apt is an extra layer okay which protects and uh, which protects uh, protect the organization infrastructure okay along with microsoft defender okay 
so uh, here what happens is that by leveraging cloud based analysis to identify and block uh, advantage uh, advanced threats okay you know uh, it, it it includes features like uh, network protection uh, you know uh, then after it has a web content filtering and exploit protection enhancing an organization's overall security posture okay so this is you know uh, this is how actually uh, the role of advanced threat protection basically helps in defending uh, a comprehensive uh, security measures that is taking place in microsoft different for endpoint and you know uh, fifth eighth number question that is basically been asked with that how does microsoft defender for endpoint handles threat intelligence and how uh, is this information used to improve the security so microsoft defender for endpoint incorporates uh, threat intelligence from uh, various sources to stay updated on, uh, on the on the latest threat okay so this information is used to enrich detection capabilities improve the accuracy of the alerts and also enhances the platform abilities to recognize and respond to sophisticated attacks okay so this is how actually uh, the microsoft defender for endpoint starts handling the threat intelligence okay i can even say so again i repeat microsoft defender for endpoint uh, basically incorporates the threat intelligence okay from behavior from various sources to stay updated on the latest threat okay so this this information is basically been used to enrich the detection capabilities okay and also improves the accuracy of uh, alerts and enhances the platform abilities to recognize and respond to sophisticated attacks and coming to the uh, question number ninth so can you elaborate on 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 the roles of uh, automated investigation and uh, response air in microsoft uh, defender for endpoint okay so when we discuss about the roles and responsibilities right so automated investigation and response right in 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 in, in microsoft defender for endpoint to investigate the process for security incidents and uh, it identifies and prioritizes the alerts gathering the relevant uh, information and uh, takes pre uh, defined response action okay this 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 sl rate incident response and uh, allows security team to focus on more complex tasks and finally we are coming with the 10th question that is how does uh, microsoft defender for endpoint address challenges related to endpoint security in a hybrid or cloud environment so in this question right folks we have uh, we have uh, we have to learn about cloud security cloud security models and how actually uh, the, the the things which are been uh, placed in a uh, proactive threat intelligence i can say uh, a uh, threat intelligence proactive threat notification ptn okay so here the concept of ptn comes right how actually the dark trace antigen antigen plays a very crucial role in this security measures for immediating mediating re, re, remediating the things in a very cloud in, in a cloud based environment with providing number of numerous security measures so in the similar way azure defender also does that and it, it, it provides a cloud based security model so microsoft defender for endpoint provides a seamless protection across one premise cloud okay and hybrid and environment okay so it integrates with the uh, microsoft 365 security services and azure security center and it offer and starts offering uh, a unified security management experience okay so this ensures consistent threat detection and response capabilities regardless of the development environment okay so these questions and answers covers uh, basically covers a perspective of for defender endpoint testing the candidate knowledge and its uh, features capabilities and uh, integration with the broader security uh, ecosystem so this is how actually uh, the mostly asked 10 challenging questions for microsoft defender uh, for endpoint and i hope uh, this session is informative and uh, thank you thank you folks